Razor, I've been waiting for this bad boy for a while. I'm excited to see how it does. Looks great for a gift. It comes in a pretty sleek, stylish box. Here's the razor. Five blades. Looks like it doesn't have any batteries yet. Excuse my daughter. <laughs> She's in the background. Okay, so it looks like it's got the pretty sleek, stylish razor. It's called the Bugatti version. I really like the way it looks and feels. It's got a pretty heavy weighted stand. Uh, get this off. Ooh, it's stuck to my fingers. Alright, so it looks like so it's stand down. It looks like the razor goes like so. Some kind of magnetism. It's definitely pretty sleek and stylish, so let me read through these. See if you just look at this card that comes with it, it says charge for 60 minutes. All you do is plug it in, let it charge. You stick it on there, it charges like that. And then press power to activate, yada yada. To adjust temperature, hold power button until the light changes color. So apparently if you hold the power button down while you're shaving, you can adjust the temperature. And then it's got a charge recharge indicator light. So I guess that's as easy as it goes. This is how you change the blades on the Gillette Labs heated razor. That's the power button. If you hold this down, it changes the temp. To yellow means not as hot. You hold it back down, it goes back to orange. You can actually change these even with it on. Here's a little, this is the actual heating bar right here. So to change these, all you do is push this up. Wow, you can feel that sucker getting hot right now. But I just wanted to show you, even with that on, you push this up and it actually forces that blade to pop off. And then you just reach over, grab the new one. You can pop it back on. But when you pop it back on, this heating bar is actually attached to the razor. So this new blade actually fits over the razor. All you do is just pop it right back on there. So I'll turn it back around. I just wanted you to know that. Just want to make sure you grab these from the sides and not by the actual razor. Then it just pops right back on there. Just have to kind of force it on there. That's how you change them. I did also want to show you that even though you shave this way, there's an actual trimmer blade on the other side of this that you can use to touch up the sides and all that. So that's just some extra little things. All right, you can see my uh, Gillette Labs heated razor is charged up and ready to go. It's been charging for over an hour, so it's time for the live shave. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It says if you hold the power button down, it can change the uh, temp. So I imagine orange is not as hot and red is hotter. So I imagine you would want to go slow with this razor to give the heat a chance to take effect. I can feel the heat on my cheek. Like this uh, blade definitely flips back, so it's hard to get any torque on it or really push down against your skin. Just go real slow. Try to let that heat do its work. Make sure that that heat just opens up those pores to get the hair out easier. It's definitely not leaving any stubble behind on my neck. Just going slow, letting that heat do all the work. It's really completely pain free really really picking up all the really really is the most comfortable shave i've ever had 
Don't know if it's worth that much money, but once you pay it once, just have to replace the blades, I would assume. Just really try and go slow here, pick every, really not much stubble left over as much as I usually, it's definitely getting the most closest shave I've ever had, so. Not burning my skin or anything, so it's really trying to just go slow and let that heat do the work. So I'm used to shaving really fast. On the chin. And still got the five blades, so if you want to go back over it quicker, but I really, it's as close as a shave as you can get. Very comfortable, the heat really loosens everything up as you go. If you just take your time, it's definitely the closest best shave I've ever had with a razor. So I'll go ahead and put it back on its stand and keep charging. But Fusion Pro Glide. Wow, I can't believe the difference. Definitely just night and day. I have feeling a lot of playing with the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide power, but usually it should take slow strokes as well. But I'm still just getting a lot of jerky pain. So the Gillette Labs heated razor is really blowing this one out of the water. And with the green on my neck here. Not a normal shave, it just feels painful after using the Gillette Labs heated razor. So you have to shave a little bit slower with that one, not too bad, but uh, definitely, definitely much more comfortable. Go ahead and finish up here real quick. A lot faster with the, whew, they're like pulling all my mustache there. But. A lot faster with the Gillette Fusion Power Glide, but the uh, Gillette Labs heated one is definitely a lot, a lot more comfortable. I must say the Gillette Labs heated razor is much more comfortable. It's fun to use, heats your skin up as you go slow and just really opens things up to make it easier to pull those hairs out or cut them, whatever. So this one's clear cut winner by far, but this one is much cheaper. I'll probably be keeping my Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. I'm not too sure about this one. But uh, it's def definitely blew every razor I've ever used out of the water. And much closer shave, obviously, than an electric shaver. So definitely a clear cut winner.